Hey guys, welcome back. Part 2 of what will probably be a very, very many part series. <sighs> We're still doing... Still doing Jill. Still doing Resident Evil 1. And we have the armor key now. So... Mm. Let's get going. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just... I'm going to finish exploring this little hall right here. Yeah, we'll finish exploring this little hall right here. And then I'm going to work my way backwards the way we came. So then we saw a lot of armor doors. Now we have the armor key, so we'll work our way backwards, hit all the armor doors. Yeah, it's ammo. Favorite, uh, favorite texts and all the, or documents and all the Resident Evil ones. I know a lot of people are probably just going to skip over all the texts, but this is one that I really recommend you read because it's, I don't know, it stuck with me. Even, even, even now it still sticks with me. stop for uh, for a couple of seconds on each page that way you guys have a chance to read it and if you need more time we um, if you need more time I'll go ahead and, or you can go ahead and pause the video if you don't like the way I'm doing that just go ahead and let me know in the comments and um, red eye and a blue eye I'll find something that tells me what to do with that. Alright. So like I said, we're going to work our way backwards, all the way back through the mansion. And, uh, use this armor key everywhere we can. So I remember this door was an armor door. a lot of shotgun ammo. Was that another shot? Another shotgun? Broken shotgun. I don't want a broken shotgun. Why would, why would I need a broken shotgun? Yellow pine. Yeah. You know what? Um, I'm gonna save. 
I need to get in the habit of saving. Saving before I start each, uh, each episode I record that way. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll save right at the end of each episode. I'll try to make, make it so that it lines up with a save point. That way, if I mess something up, I can just go back to the save point and record the episode. Hopefully it doesn't come to that, though. I feel like we're not going to need you ever. Alright, so... Let's see here. This is annoying me. I also got a quieter cup. He said squeaking the straw right into the microphone. I do apologize for that. I don't think I can avoid these guys this time. We went that way already, so yeah, we'll take take this door. demons. Ouch! You're wounded! What kind of demon attacked you? It was a huge snake, and also poisonous. Ugh. Poisonous? Oh no. Richard, hold on! There is serum. Oh no. I should have brought some with me. No problem. I'll go and get it. Thanks. Oh, so, do I have to go get it, or is she going to do it right now on her own? Nope, I gotta get it. Where is that? Okay, so that's downstairs, I'm guessing. Yeah, okay, that's downstairs. Is... The save room? Okay, yeah. Okay, that's the save room we were just in. Okay, I know how to get there. The, the voice acting in this game, it's like, it's like watching a really bad high school play. This house is dangerous.
Still one of my favorite games of all time, I think. Yeah. It's up there. Top ten. Whoa. Didn't I kill him? I thought I killed him. <sighs> Sorry, I'm really tired. I've been up since 4 o'clock this morning. Uh, it's... What am I doing? It's, uh, like 7 o'clock right now. Sorry. Okay. That's what we're supposed to get, right? Is it? Only one dose left. You ever think... Just thought maybe... Take a syringe or something, too? What you need? I think you need a syringe to give a serum, don't you? Sorry, I keep looking over at my other uh, my other screen to see if I if I started recording because I keep forgetting. I keep thinking it's not recording because there's I'm using uh, what is it? OBS? Yeah, OBS to record. So. The only indication that you have that you're recording is it shows a little timer at the bottom and the record button that says start recording says stop recording. Those are the only indications you have that you're actually recording, so I I can I keep checking it. Ugh, tank controls. The only thing I ever hated about these games. Here's the serum! Richard, hold on! I'll give you a shot now! Jill, here's my radio. You should keep it. I'm... No! Richard! Jill, be careful. Uh, uh. Shave. I really need a shave. That I need to get smaller shirts. <laughs> we still okay? Yeah, we're still okay. What's up here? Shield. I think it's the first one that we've seen that says shield. Do I need a flashlight? There's a candle. I probably need a light for the candle. Do I? I don't have a lighter. No. I guess we'll come back to there when, when we have a lighter. I 
don't know how many episodes I'm probably going to get recorded tonight. I am pretty tired. That's not good. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. So it can't, okay. So the gas came out of the floor, so I'm guessing, I don't remember this. I'm guessing we just cover those? I don't want to step on the switch. Is that what we do? That's right. Cause those. I think, I think there's a few of those in there. I think so. Uh, yeah, you know. We have a lot of shotgun shells and not a lot of handgun bullets. I know the collar looks blown out. This is actually a. Are there people in the beds? No. Oh, okay, there's just a camera. Ooh, red herb. I don't think I need that now, do I? Um. Yes, thank you. It looks like the collars are blown out, like on all my shirts. Even some of my brand new shirts. Oh, a lighter. Um, the reason is, is because when me and my uh, me and my fiance moved in together last year, last year. Oh wow, it's almost been two years now that we've been living together. When we moved in together, um, out of nowhere, I started losing weight, and it probably has something to do with the fact that I'm not eating crap. Um, anyway, the, uh, um, I started losing weight, and I think it's because I stopped eating crap, like, before we got together, I, uh, uh me and my ex just eat, like, just eat out all the time, so, we would, uh, Literally, like fast food, two to three times a day, five days a week, and yeah, I put on a, I put on a lot of weight, and uh, yeah, when me and my fiance moved in together, started cooking at home mostly because you know rent sucks up a lot of your money. <laughs> I never, I never thought about finances too, too much until, uh, until I moved out, um, actually moved out into the real world and realized how much utilities and rent every, everything is. It's so expensive. Oh, there's a greener up here. I can't pick it up though. 
Um, cause yeah, um, yeah, when I li when I lived at home with my parents, it was you know, I thought you know, I thought, oh, it can't be that much. I see how much rent is like when I look on Craigslist for places. All right, we're going to try to combine those. Can I put more than six in here? No. Um, I thought, okay, well that's, you know, that that's how much rent is. Okay, good to know. And then I actually moved out and realized that there's a lot more than rent that you pay when you rent a place. And, yeah, so couldn't afford to eat out, you know, two to three times a day. So now we cook at home. And as a result, I lost like 60 pounds. And, yeah, my fiance is mad because she, she gained weight. I lost a lot of weight. <laughs> but yeah, I don't even remember how I got on that subject about my shirt. You know what? I want to try it. Can I shoot? Can I shoot his head off? That was awesome. I want to do that again. Oh, that makes me happy. You know, I thought you could do something. Oh, I remember this. Okay. I think if I walk, they can't see me. Those birds. Okay, so, this one we have to push the pictures, like, in the right order. Newborn, okay. So, like, for their age. So, newborn. What's after newborn? Newborn infant? Where's that infant? Yeah, infant. Infant, and then... Should be something before you, young man. Lively boy. Uh, that's probably gonna be it. And then a young man. Middle aged man. You're probably an old man, right? Yeah. And then the sad end, once you're after, you're an old man. Hey. Did it right. Yep, there's another one. Alright, I'm just gonna run out of here. I hope they don't work for me. Get it? group of crows is called a murder, so, I don't know, I thought it was clever. Yeah, a group of crows is called a murder, and you know... Is there dogs out here? Yes, there is. You know what you call one, or two... Okay, so a murder of crows is a group of crows, and you know what you call uh, two crows sitting together on a telephone wire? We call it attempt an attempted murder because they attempted to make a murder. Okay. That's gonna be these. Yep. Okay. So there's four of them.
I thought it was funny. Two down, two more. I think, where do we go next? So that's... I think this whole side search. That door is locked. Yeah, that door is locked. But we can go... We can go through there. Come on, get around the corner, Jill. Coming up towards the end of the episode right now. Just, yeah, there's the door. Let's see what's out here. Oh, there better be something good. No! Just a lot of herbs. Lots and lots of herbs. Probably need them after that double bag encounter there. Okay, we haven't been to that other side yet. Downstairs on that other side. Oh, there's dogs in here. I can take them. I th think I remember something in here. It might have not been in here. It might have been in a different game. Pedro. <laughs> oh, the reason I say Pedro is because, you know, um, I don't know why I know this even. Okay, so I don't speak Spanish, like at all, but I know I did press that the wrong way. Um, dog in Spanish is perro. Ped. Perro. Yeah, perro. It's dog, but, you know, uh, kind of like Pedro, so bad Pedro. Uh, it's just some stupid shit I say. Wait, can I go in that door? Last, this is the last door for the key, apparently. Please be ammo. Yes. It's so hard to tell. The graphics are... Like, so so bad in this. Not, not saying they're bad. I mean, this is... This is 1996. I mean, you couldn't expect, like, HD graphics back then, but... I play I play a lot of Resident Evil 2 when I'm like uh, speed running and stuff. I oh well, okay so this game basically never left my console until I got Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 2 literally did literally did not leave my PlayStation uh, for probably for probably six years until I actually got my. Uh, I don't have the key for this room. That's weird. Usually she says what the key is. Um, but yeah, until from when I got my from when I got Resident Evil 2 until I got my first PlayStation 2 game, Resident Evil 2 was the game of my console. That's what I'm trying to say. And mind you, <laughs> when I was a kid, my uh, my parents spoiled us a bit, but um, they also didn't have a ton, ton of money. So, like, so, like, uh, when, dude, 
Yes. So like when I got my PlayStation, um, they got me a PlayStation, which I mean, oh, a spoiled kid got a PlayStation when it came out. But I also didn't get an actual PlayStation game until I think until my birthday is when I finally got a PlayStation game. It's down here. And, uh, yeah, for, from when I got my PlayStation to when I actually got my first, uh, PlayStation game, all I, uh, all I played was, uh, like, it was a demo disc that came with, uh, my PlayStation, and you know what, I was happy, I was happy playing it. Something in here I'm supposed to do, oh, well, you clearly move. Oh, a note. Nope, not a note. Music. Oh, that's right. Okay. Huh. Okay. I knew there was something with the shield thing. This thing in here. I couldn't remember what it was, though. So, like, when I got my PlayStation 2, oh, okay, that's right, okay, yeah, we switched these, because we want that one, and then that does something, I think it is something with, like, the fireplace, I think it, like, opens the fireplace, and there's an item in it. Um, so, like, my PlayStation 2, when I got it, it was, uh... It was basically used as a DVD player and a fancy PlayStation for like months because I didn't even get PlayStation 2 games for my birthday that year. Like, my parents were like, yeah, that, 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 uh, that was too expensive. We can't afford games. So play your other games on it. Like, they have a very. They made very certain that it played PlayStation games before they bought it. Oh. Oh, that's right. Okay. I don't know why I thought the fireplace opened. Which one are you? Shield. Alright, well... You know what, guys? That's, uh... 30 minutes now, 33 minutes to be exact, um... Um, well, my recording. That's gonna conclude it for this episode. Um... On the next episode, we'll find out what, uh... What we do with that blue gem thing, and where that key goes. Um, until then, you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Please, if you do like the video, subscribe, like them. Um, you know, I, I, I do work a 9 to 5, and I just do this for fun. So knowing, knowing that people are out there watching and appreciate it does, you know, it, it means a lot. But anyway, bye. See you tomorrow.